Right, so what I wanted to do today was look at how to use LoRa's. I know this is a, this is a very basic video, so it's not, not for the uh, extremely experienced. I make LoRa's and I post them and I look at the images people make of them and it occurred to me that actually many people have no idea how to use a LoRa. So I thought I'd do a sort of how to use a LoRa 101 and also how to, how to, how to know whether it's any good or not. Because there are so many Lauras, and if you're at all like me, you have about 500,000 of them. So how do you tell if the Laura is any good? So uh, what we'll do is I've got a newly minted Laura here called Fashions, which I'll put in at 75. And uh, it, what it does is fashion fashion drawings of, of people. So uh, this is quite a complicated prompt here. So we'll do a, we'll do a, a smaller one of, um, let's type this in. Okay, so that's a basic prompt. Uh, we'll put our size down to the standard size. So it's one or two four square. And then we'll press go. And there we go. Looks pretty nice. Very much in the style of fashion illustration. So what we want to do now, so uh, we, we just discovered that it probably works. So what we could do is turn it off and see what it does without it on. And this is a really important thing to do because uh, some Laura's are what I call worsifiers. I, the, uh, the, with just the prompt and no, and no Laura, it looks better than it does with the Laura. So here we're looking for a watercolour style and, and that, you know that. So that, that's pretty nice, but it, it, it's too photographic and, um, and not watercolour enough. So we can see that our Laura works. So we were in at 0.75 and it changed the image completely. And, and the important thing to note is that the image changed and then you can... So sort of decide, did the image go in the way you want it to go? <laughs> or did it get worse? There's so many Laura's out there that are so bad that, uh, that they often just get worse. So my next step is to take it down to... Oh, wrong one. Is to take it down to nothing. And what we're looking for is um, does the... How quickly does the Laura kick in? Or, and, and, you know, what levels does it work well at? So, so we, what we, want to know, we want to know that. So what I do... We'll just get this over here so you can see. Uh, this is the big power Laura loader. Uh, any Laura loader is, is absolutely fine. This is very convenient, I find. So what I do is I do it in 10, 12 steps. Um, and I start at nothing and I queue it. Then 10, 20, I think you get the idea. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80... And I stop at one ten. That's twelve. A, a, a Laura that has to be has to be put in at one and a half or two is not a good Laura. You might as well dump it, really, because uh, that, that's not very really good. So we can watch these come through, and I shall speed this process up. But you should be able to see it slowly kick in as the generations go by. This also, of course, gives you a good idea at, for its its best level. You know, because uh, maybe it'll start to go horrible at 1.1. Most do, because as the value goes higher, it starts to churn out the original training data and ignoring your prompt completely. And what we're looking for here is a, quite a slow, progressive change without too many jumps or only very big jumps. You know, to, sometimes they jump to a completely different composition. Uh, and that's the sign of a not very good Laura. Oh, I actually got glasses on that one. That was good. I wonder if she gets, <laughs> I wonder if she keeps the glasses. I can't remember when we ran it last. But uh, the other thing we're noticing, and I, I always do this with the human figure, will it destroy the anatomy? A lot of Lauras uh, have been trained with poor images of people, uh, bad hands and so on, and they will poison any generation. Uh, you'll start to get horrible... Um, you know, extra legs and um, too many fingers and various other nasties, and that's again the sign of a bad Laura. You can you can you can throw it away. And there we go. So that was a very good run because we've got steadily more watercolour -y and uh, and looser as as the uh, as the sequence progressed. Okay, so that's what I do when I first get a Laura. So it told me basically. Is it any good? <laughs> if it's not good, throw it away. Yeah, um, and most on civet aren't any good. I, I've even put some pretty bad ones up myself when I was learning how to how to uh, how to train. So that was the Laura operating 
in its cus- in its comfort zone. So you know, it's got its keyword, it's got a description of stuff very so it's trained on on fashion watercolor. So uh, the other thing with a, a good Laura is it will work outside its comfort zone. So down here we have a different prompt that is very not in its um, in its comfort zone. So we'll we'll make it um, a watercolor image and we'll give it its keyword but we're not going to give it anything else and uh, this is uh, this is a prompt well away that this is just turns it i won't put any workflows in because they really <laughs> this will work in any sdxl anything you just long you just need a laura loader and that's it really and i i usually test around 75 if a law is not good around 75 then uh, it's not worth having really so we'll run that and uh this should produce a sort of green man with leaves and stuff. The poor lawyers will, um, style lawyers anyway, will just default to uh, a photo style. Uh, if the law is good, then it'll carry through the uh, painted style to this image. And I haven't tested this with this Laura, by the way. And look at that. We have painted. So that tells us that this Laura will be quite happy doing any subject at all uh it's obviously going to be best at fashionable ladies uh, but it's 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 going to be pretty adapt and uh and you know if you're wanting to do a watercolory style it'll do a watercolory style on any subject not just the uh, subject it's aimed at so that's the first basics of laura's and obviously let's face there um obviously you want to prompt to help the Laura, but if a Laura won't operate without that help, then it's not much of a Laura. It's not terribly good. So what we could do, just for fun, just to be silly, is to um, halfway. And this isn't just being silly, actually, because I, I want to know how it reacts to mixing prompt. So this is 50% the, le- the fashionable lady and 50% the guy with the horns. Who will win? I don't know. We'll see. Zoom in a bit. There we go. That's quite interesting. We've got the hat from the other prompt and the blue colour and the leaves from the second prompt. That's pretty good. Okay, so now we know more about our Laura. It'll it'll do fun things if we mix our prompt. It uh, is quite strong enough to use at, at, um, from about 0.3, 0.2 upwards, all of which is good. So next thing we want to know is does it mix with other Lauras? So what we'll do to test that, we'll move out of its comfort zone entirely and we'll get, um, I think we'll do a vehicle one. I put all my prompts in a big heap here and I, I, I cull them <laughs> brutally. I don't know if we've got a uh, futuristic kitchen here, a sleek supercar, that'll be completely out of its comfort zone. So we'll copy that. And we'll drop it into this prompt. Okay, so this is a car showroom with a racing car in it. And what I what I will do normally is we'll put that up to one and we'll make the image slightly more supercar-y shape. <laughs> a bit wider. And that should be enough. I have no idea. I always do these videos without practicing first because I don't uh, I don't think it's terribly helpful if I've cherry picked um a particular scenario that works well seems uh, not very helpful, really. So, did I cue that? Probably not. Here we go. So this is well away from fashionable ladies in watercolour. Okay, look at what it's done. Very nice indeed. So I'm very pleased with my new uh, with my new Laura. It'll be up on Suit eventually. Uh, it, it's going to be called... I don't know what to call it now. I was going to call it um, Fashions 2, but uh, it's unexpectedly good at racing cars. <laughs> so the next thing I want to know, really, with this is... Is it any good at mixing with other Lauras? So what I'm going to do is put in a different Laura, and vehicles here does racing cars, so and slick automobiles. So I put that in. I'll put it in at 35. And what we want to do is leave the C the same, and we want to see how it mixes with other Lauras because this is a key attribute to a Laura is does it mix other Laura as well? It's, um, it's very hard to judge whether they will. Some don't. Some overwhelm any other Laura. And this one might. I don't know. We'll see. So any change to this image is being put in by the vehicle's Laura. And there we go. We've had quite a big change. But we haven't, I noticed, lost all of the watercolour. It's still got a very illustrated feel. So that's good. So what we could do now is see 
how it um, changes if we go down to 25, up to 80. You can be very systematic with this. Oh, I lose the will to live and I don't. I just, I test it on a few values, up and down and see what it does. Should be more watercolour -y. There we go. It went more watercolour -y. Excellent. Very nice indeed. And we not noticed that the, the uh, vehicles, Laura, had a big effect on it. So we'll take that right down to uh, 10, down to 75. So that means the Laura is very useful. We can, we can um, apply the style to all sorts of different subjects and uh, use other Lauras with it and so forth. And that's done, that's done it very nice. So it, 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 we've got more, even more painty sort of feel to it now. But it hasn't, it hasn't destroyed the structure. We've still got a slick racing car, but a nice watercolour illustration of one. So we'll turn that other Laura off. And there's another factor that a Laura needs to be able to do. And we need to know how good is it on the refine. Some Lauras barely trigger on the refine at all. And we head off to, into photo land. So what I'll do, put it to always here. And we are just taking a simple pixel upscale. And we're refining at 0.35. And we'll run that and see what happens. Okay, so there we go. We've retained the style, but everything has been refined. Very good. So I'm pretty happy with that. It's done its job. So there's one more thing I do, and uh, of course, stress testing. I I have a few prompts hidden away down here that um, it always has trouble with. So what I will do, they're right up the top here somewhere, I think. Okay, and uh, this is a prompt that uh, always always causes uh, flux difficulties. So what we do is drop that in. I turn that a lot off. I have on my huge workflow. I should have made a smaller one before I made the video, shouldn't I, to make it slightly slicker. I'm not very good at slick videos. <laughs> so let's, let's drop our lady in here. Well, I, I won't be too cruel. I'll make a standing. We'll take the black boots out as well. Okay, so this is a scene that, that usually causes it problems. So uh, we'll drop it in at the 1.75. And if it's going to mangle anatomy, uh, it will do on this. There we go. Not too bad. Not wonderful. Not too bad. And that leads on to the next test is how consistent is it across seeds? I.e., you know, is it a 1 in 10 good image or whatever? So now I want to see what it does over five seeds. Oh, she's pretty good. Quite good hands. Nice watercolour style. Very good staircase. But I do this because... Laura's mess things up as well as another good one and good hands as well. Laura's mess things up as well as him push. You know, uh, Laura can easily uh, be a, be one that destroys some aspect um, that Flux is usually good at. Here we're doing pretty well. We've got consistently good hands across seeds and everything we asked for in the in the prompt. Really, there we go. We've got a mangled hand there. You see, mangled staircase as well. <laughs> That's another very nice one. So there we go a set of seeds and we had one bad one really so that's pretty good i'm happy uh so that's it that's how you judge a laura just you know once you've downloaded the thing and it's going to um, make everything in your image made of peanuts this is how you check whether you've actually downloaded a, a laura worth having or one that needs to be junked so that's it i really did do a short video this time i often start with a short video intending to make a short video and make them make a make a 50 minute one so uh, that's it i hope that was useful and helpful and thanks for your attention